hey, you know, it's not it's not a sin to use Ozempic if you have a weight problem, so why not talk about it? Hollywood is abuzz with the latest trend that's causing quite a stir, Ozempic. Originally prescribed exclusively to those with type 2 diabetes, this medication has stealthily made its way into the limelight, becoming the town's hottest topic of conversation. For a while, it seemed like an industry secret, but recently the chatter has erupted into the open. A-listers such as Sharon Osbourne, Amy Schumer, Khloe Kardashian, and Stassi Schroeder have all weighed in, offering their thoughts on this surprising new craze that's sweeping through Tinseltown. Amy Schumer, the train wreck star Amy Schumer, didn't mince words when she called out celebrities for their lack of honesty about using a Zempic as a weight loss secret. Appearing on Watch What Happens Live, she spilled the tea and held nothing back. So, like a year ago, I tried it. Okay. You know, it's like, you know, you try it. And I was one of the people that felt like so sick and like couldn't like play with my son. I was so skinny and I was just like, like he was throwing a ball at me and I was just... And you're like, okay, this isn't livable for me. She wasn't afraid to call out those who wouldn't come clean about their Ozempic use, putting them on blast for staying hush-hush. And now everybody lying, everyone's like, a smaller portion. Like, <laughs> shut the <laughs> f up. Right. <laughs> you're on Ozempic or one of those things. Or Wagovi or yeah, whatever. Yeah, or you yes. got work done. Like, just, just stop. Stassi Schroeder, Vanderpump Rules star Stassi Schroeder, also chimed in with her thoughts. On Alex Cooper's Call Her Daddy podcast, the reality TV star confessed her interest in trying Ozempic post-pregnancy. My God, it's like I really want to try it after I give birth, she shared with excitement. I really want to try it when I give birth. <laughs> You're like, I want to go on it now, but I am pregnant, so I'm no, going to wait. Like, no, the amount of times I've researched this being like, I mean, I think it's safe and healthy. Like, I think it's good for you. It's like taking vitamins. Sophie Turner. On the flip side, Game of Thrones star Sophie Turner has a completely different take on Ozempic. She didn't hold back when she voiced her opinion on the medication and its advertisements. In April, she posted an Instagram story featuring a tweet with two Ozempic ads. One ad read, one shot to lose weight, while the other had similar text, a weekly shot to lose weight. Turner added her own blunt commentary, writing WTF. Chelsea Handler. According to comedian Chelsea Handler, Ozempic is no laughing matter. During her appearance on Call Her Daddy podcast, Chelsea revealed that she was given the medication without even realizing it. She recounted how she unknowingly started using Ozempic, explaining that her doctor was a strong advocate for the drug. Handler emphasized the seriousness of the situation, shedding light on how easily someone could end up using the medication without their full awareness. I went, she said, oh, if you ever want to drop, because I said, she goes, if you ever want to drop five pounds, this is good. However, despite giving Ozempic a shot, Handler admitted it wasn't her cup of tea. She candidly noted that she didn't like how it made her feel. And I came back from a vacation and I injected myself with it. And I went to lunch with like a girlfriend a few days later. And she's like, I'm not really eating anything. I'm so nauseous. I'm on Ozempic. And I was like, I'm kind of nauseous too. But I had come back from Spain. I thought I was jet lag. Eventually, Handler ditched Ozempic since it wasn't medically necessary for her. Ever the generous friend, she shared the leftover doses with her pals. Dolores Catania, Real Housewives star Dolores Catania opened up about her Ozempic journey revealing she used the medication to shed pounds ahead of filming the season 13 reunion. During an episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, she candidly admitted to taking Ozempic, explaining her motivation to avoid appearing larger than her co-stars during the taping. Her honesty about using the medication highlighted the pressures of reality TV appearances and maintaining a certain image in the spotlight. How long have you been on the Ozempic? Uh, six weeks. Six weeks? Yes. Yeah. It's How's actually it Bonjoro. It's another yeah, part yeah, of yeah, it. Oh, yeah. that's Bonjoro's the different. amped up version. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. You're yeah, kidding? that's the fast forward to Skinnyville. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. and Reunion you know, is two weeks. NBC News reports that Ozempic and its counterpart, Wegovy, are essentially identical drugs but are available in different doses. Both medications act as appetite suppressants and assist in regulating blood sugar levels by stimulating the release of insulin in the body. Wegovy has been specifically approved as a medication for weight loss in adults who are diagnosed with obesity. On January 11, 2024, the FDA issued a safety communication 
reassuring the public that no link has been established between Ozempic or Wagovi and suicidal thoughts. However, the agency acknowledged that it cannot completely dismiss the possibility of a minor risk and is actively investigating the matter further. The most common Ozempic side effects include excessive muscle loss. I can't put on weight now, but I just can't seem to put any on because I think I went too far and then I can't put it back on. Weight loss inevitably includes some loss of muscle, which is considered a natural and healthy process. However, there are concerns among experts that Ozempic and similar drugs may be causing a surprisingly high and concerning level of muscle loss. Currently, there's limited reliable data on this issue. Analysis of body composition in two trials indicated that users of semaglutide, the active ingredient in Ozempic, experienced approximately 40% loss in lean mass and 60% loss in fat. This degree of muscle loss exceeds typical expectations observed with other weight loss methods, where lean mass reduction typically ranges from 20% to 30%, as noted in a 2017 review. When I first started to take it, I felt nauseous the whole time. I've had the occasional bit of, I'd say, seasicky sort of feeling. Yeah. Gastroparesis. According to research and FDA reports, some individuals have developed gastroparesis, a condition where the stomach becomes paralyzed after taking Ozempic. Jonathan Sedge, an attorney at Morgan & Morgan, noted that various clinical trials, observational studies, and case reports have linked Ozempic and similar drugs to gastroparesis and persistent vomiting. The most recent study, published as a research letter in JAMA in October 2023, examined the use of GLP-1 agonists, including Ozempic, for weight loss. The authors discovered that individuals using these drugs faced a higher risk of gastroparesis and bowel obstruction compared to those using a different medication called bupropion naltrexone. Dizziness. This issue has been observed in a small percentage of Ozempic users. Dizziness associated with Ozempic may arise from the drug's ability to lower glucose levels, as dizziness is a frequent symptom of hypoglycemia. Even patients not prone to severe hypoglycemia, usually those not using insulin or sulfonylureas, may experience dizziness during temporary episodes of low blood sugar. The active ingredient in Ozempic, called semaglutide, acts on brain receptors to reduce your craving. So you, you just don't have a desire. No, you don't. And because of the massive demand, it put a massive strain on the whole manufacturing process, supply demand issues were there. So people who really needed it yes. for their so, diabetes couldn't get it. Exactly. So the type 2 diabetics... Because people like me were using it for, to lose weight. Exactly. Certain patients may notice reduced cravings, diminished hunger, and less enjoyment in eating certain foods, particularly when beginning Ozempic or Wegovy. This effect is attributed to semaglutide, the active component in these medications, which mimics the sensation of being full. Additionally, some individuals report that persistent thoughts about food, often described as food noise, diminish while on these medications. Ozempic face and Ozempic butt. Ozempic face went viral first, followed by Ozempic butt, with users complaining about unexpected flabbiness. Experts agree, Ozempic face and Ozempic butt are just part of losing weight. The same flabby results can happen with regular weight loss methods or even after weight loss surgery. And it worries me for young people that in the wrong hands, it could be quite dangerous. When you shed a lot of weight, you might lose some healthy looking fat from places like your face or butt. And losing weight quickly can leave you with loose skin. Our skin is stretchy, but it doesn't snap back into shape right away. Although these issues have been around for successful dieters long before Ozempic hit the scene. If you found this video interesting, be sure to check out our other videos exploring the lives of your favorite celebrities. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on our latest content. Thanks for watching.